It's the first day of TechCrunch Disrupt in San Francisco. Tesla upgrades its autopilot feature. eBay launches a smartphone trading site and more. It's Monday, September 12th, and this is the San Francisco Disrupt edition of Crunch Report. First day of TechCrunch Disrupt SF. It's a special day. Startups all around us, amazing speakers, and startup Battlefield. Every day I'm going to highlight one of the companies from Battlefield. So let's meet with Pundit, one of the companies. Yo, what's up, man? What's up? How you doing? I'm good, how are right, you? Tell me, what is Pundit? So Pundit is a platform that empowers you to unleash your inner Oprah. So what does that mean, right? So it's a social app, but for voice. So you can start bite-sized talk shows with your friends, or send private voice messages like to anybody with your voice that is spent 24 hours. And here's what's cool, you can also play around with your voice on app, like any filter. So Chris, what do you think about my new haircut? And you can also make it sound like a chipmunk. Or you can make it sound like a monster. Wait, so you're talking to someone? Yeah, I'm talking to Chris, my yeah. co-founder. And when I'm talking to him, I can add voice filters, background music, and to make it a little bit much more interactive and fun voice content. And it's recording the audio? And it's recording the audio. And, and I can send him, and it will disappear in 24 hours. So it's like a Snapchat for audio? We would we think like we want to bring Snapchat level fun to audio, yes. Oh, okay. The fun part of it. And is when, when is this app available? This app is going to be available, it's already available today, but you can download it um, on the App Store. And we're also going to be presenting a startup battlefield today at about 2.30 p.m. All Pacific right. time. So this will air at 4. You can check them out after. What's your website? Uh, it's getpundit.com. Sweet, man. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Best of luck. Best of luck. Bye. That was fun. We'll interview another company tomorrow and tune into the live stream to watch all the companies compete. Today, Tesla revealed version 8 of its autopilot software going live in a couple of weeks. Version 8.0 includes updates in the tech used to interpret images received from the onboard radar. A big part of the update is that it should prevent accidents like the one that resulted in John Brown's death in Tesla a few months back. According to Tesla, the updated autopilot could recognize anything from unusual vehicles to an alien spaceship to a pile of junk metal or even a multi-car pileup. Also, it can detect it through bad weather like rain, fog, or haze. It can also, what I thought was pretty cool, bounce the radar off streets and surroundings and receive an echo signal back to provide a view around any car you're driving behind. The entire auto steer upgrade will be done via over-the-air software, free to existing Tesla owners, and will work with Tesla vehicles from 2014 and on. HP put a ring on Microsoft with a new six-year deal for the company to use Microsoft Dynamics customer relationship management and service software. In a twist of irony, HP had once been a customer of its now rival Salesforce, and Oracle had been its service provider. Salesforce even managed to drop a not so humble brag about its relationship with HP. Ouch. The new deal sends a sign to investors that Microsoft's work to beef up the product could be paying off. While it may seem unexpected, it's important to remember that HP hasn't had a great relationship with Oracle in a while. Former CEO Mark Hurd left HP after a scandal in 2010 and went running into the arms of Oracle. Shortly thereafter, a nasty lawsuit ensued over Oracle dropping support for HP's Itanium chipset. Double ouch! Here's a word from our sponsor, a proud sponsor of TechCrunch Disrupt. Braintree is a payments platform that makes buying seamless, so customers focus on your app, not your payment process. Visit braintreepayments.com slash crunchreport. Carol, I need to print this. I don't know how. Yes, I know I'm in tech. This isn't tech. I don't, I don't know. Please help me, Carol. Carol, help me. I'm lost without you. That's how I am every time I need to print something at work. It's a hassle. So I'm lost on printing. But you know who isn't lost? Hewlett Packard. HP is buying Samsung's printer business for $1.05 billion in a move aimed at disrupting the dusty and stale printing industry. If it helps printers, that's very nice. Samsung's printer division employs around 6,000 people. Around 1,300 of them are in R&D with 50 sales offices across the world and a production base that is located in China. In addition to that business, which recorded nearly $1.8 billion in revenue last year, 
HP will also get its hands on a compelling portfolio of around 6,500 printing patents. Carol, maybe it won't be much longer that I don't know how to use printers. I'm trying my best. Being trapped with an old phone might be worse than going to prom with a parent. eBay wants you to stand out from the crowd, but for the right reasons. With quick sale, owners of cell phone clunkers can now trade them in for cash to upgrade to the highly flammable Note 7 and even the harder to obtain jet black iPhone 7. If you're ready to sell and don't have your eyes on those specific phones, eBay will pair you with power sellers who coordinate the sale in exchange for a cut of the dough. Photo listings, payments, and shipping are taken care of, but don't expect to get money if your phone is in too bad of shape. This one was in the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket explosion last week. Yeah, don't think they're taking it. If your phone never leaves your back pocket and you already escaped Bengate, all you have to do is punch in the brand, model, carrier, capacity, color, and condition, then print shipping labels from the site and collect your cash after an inspection period. The quick process will take about 7 to 10 days, which is just fast enough that it will be ready before Apple and Samsung get their production in order. Relativity, it's amazing. eBay may sell a smartphone every 4 seconds, but it has a lot of competition for trade-ins with mobile operators, Apple itself, and other third parties. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. You know what? We'll see you tomorrow at Disrupt, same time.